The anticipation builds as we inch on closer to the line. Welcome to the Isle of Man. I'm here for a one lap all out sprint race around the island, 37 and three quarter miles in all its glory. This is right on the edge three, the Isle of Man TT Sim that came out not too long ago. And it's been my obsession for the past couple of weeks. We're riding in the 600cc category, the Super Sports. I've got the Honda CBR of Joey Thompson. I'm hoping for maybe a 19 minute or so lap. I'd be happy with that. A nice, clean, smooth lap. But it's all about you against the clock at the Isle of Man. But there are other riders taking off in front of me here. So if we catch somebody along the way, we'll have to figure that out without losing too much time. It's one of the most exciting and terrifying and refreshing things I've done in a while. And so I'm hoping for a good run. But no matter how it goes, thanks for coming along for the ride. Bit of a hop, and away we go. We're getting up the gears. There's no chill, there's no warm up at the Isle of Man. It throws you right into the action. So we'll rock it out of Douglas here and towards the famous Bray Hill. Hold on. of the hill there over Hagel's Leap on the other side. It's another hop there. And now focused on the braking for quarter bridge. Roll it off the throttle here. A lot of bumps at the top of the hill. Settle the bike. All right, now get it down from sixth gear all the way to first for quarter bridge. Gentle turn in there, a little too slow. Pick up the throttle. All right, accelerate away. Now towards Baden Bridge. Cold tires and full fuel here at the beginning. So be careful with the bike. Get it up to fifth for a second. Now all the way down to second gear for this late turn in. Pull the bike over there. Hard on the throttle for the exit now as we'll walk towards Union Mills. Keep it on the right side of the road. We got a fast left hand kink here. Flat out, walk the white line on the exit. Keep it between the lanes as we'll come into Union Mills itself. Down one gear, fifth. Hard on the throttle down a couple of gears and want to maximize the exit if you can through Union Mills snap of the bike there. This will rocket us onto the straight towards Crosby. Oh, I can see a rider in front. All right, up to six gears. We'll come up to the first of the two kinks. First one here is easily flat out, gent gentle to the right. But now come up to the Bala Crane, infamous corner of the hill just roll out of the throttle a little bit tip it in pick up the throttle again ran a little wide missed the apex as well but it's all right we have a massive slipstream from this rider in front once we get close he seems pretty slow all right 161 miles an hour as we'll rocket towards crosby look for the turn into the left bit of a security lift just get it nicely through there watch the curbing on the exit much of this course is lined with sidewalk curbing if you touch it it's absolutely race over Come over the top of the hill then. Be a hop here, just wait for it. Don't wheelie. And now down the other side, 163, top speed here. 165 miles an hour. And coming to the Griba Bends. Down one gear in the entrance, a little wide. And down a second for the first of the S's. Rider in front is so slow. find a way around. So hard to do on a curvy section of the course. So double right-hander now as we'll head towards Grievous Castle. Just waiting on the accelerator a little bit there. Maybe I can outbreak him up here. Yeah, he's quite slow. All right, jump on the brakes, down to third gear. Ooh, runner very wide. Luckily, it's already around and I'll touch the curving there, my God. Stayed on the bike somehow. Now we got a double right-hander. Can't think about it too much. Easy through the first one. Second one here is very tricky. Just riding half throttle through there and now towards the Bala Crane. This corner can sneak up on you. You can hear a bike behind me. Look for the signpost to the left there. Get it all the way down to second gear. Tip it in early on it. Accelerate out right to the wall. Quick flick to the left and now we'll rush down to Laurel Bank. Flat out here through this triple right-hander of the hill here is so easy to run too hot just take it nice and easy here we go in the right lane but it's all right similar corner to the right now 
It's a very late apex, third gear. It's an S as well. Pick up the throttle into Laurel Bank, down to second gear. Just watch the curbing on the inside. There we go. Accelerate out. Now we'll work our way towards Glen Helen. It's a very technical part of the course. Just to be nice and smooth. Get the bike turned over. First into the Glen Helen corner. Or the first corner there, second corner then. Jump it down a gear, so we'll come past the hotel, another one. Just wrestling the throttles, we'll head up the hill now. Sarah's Cottage, really need a good exit here. Put it down into second, just help the turn in. All right, accelerate out. Got a few twisty bits before we head on to the conky body. Just want a great exit there. It's able to get a pretty good one. Up to fifth and sixth gear onto the conky body. This straight's similar to the last one. Fast flick to the right to start it. And a scary one is this next one. Let's take a breath for a minute. Into the right hander. Nearly flat out. Come over the top of the rise. And now decreasing radius right handers. Get it down a couple gears. Fourth gear. Wait for it. There we go. Turn in. Tuck right back in, right to the inside. Smack my face with a few bits of grass. Now focus on handleys. Always get this corner wrong. Down one gear, maybe. Get the bike turned over. It just feels slow. There's a brick wall there waiting for you on the right side, though. All right, one fast flick to the left here. Just wait for it. And now to the Barragero. This corner is so difficult. Just take it nice and easy. It's so easy to end a race here. Come to the top of the Barragero. Down one gear. There we go. Bit too much turn into it. But now through the bottom, and this is where it's really tricky. Oh my god. Bike nearly gets away from me there. But now focus. You can't think about it too long. Down a couple gears. This will exit. Just a few corners now for Kirk Michael. Second corner here is where you want the apex. Tuck back in. Hard on the accelerator. I'm catching somebody else as well. It's a good run so far. A few scary corners, but that's how it is around the Isle of Man. All right, second blue pole there. Hard on the brakes. Get it down to third gear for Kirk Michael. In the tuck. This is where you really feel the speed around the Isle of Man with all the buildings and objects whizzing past. Such a fast course. Exit of the town, much harder than the entrance. Get it down a gear, and catch the rider in front. But where to pass is always the question. Put down one gear here. Flick it to the left, try to get a good run out onto the straight. There's a hop here, just wait for it. It's so easy to jump off the bike there. All right, we're headed to Bala Bridge. We got a bunch of corners before then. It's a really fast section, so maybe you can get around the rider in front. It's easier to pass on the straights than it is in the corners. Right up to the curbing on the left there. The tight corner to the right, it's easier to downshift one. Ugh. Almost lost it there. All right, in the tuck, flat out, fifth gear, up to sixth. Got one more right-hander here, and we'll come up to Bala Bridge. Just want to watch for the second slowdown sign. There it is. Then hard on the brakes, harder than you've ever braked. Down a second gear. Come over the little bridge there. Hop in the air. Kind of resets things. Focus again. We've got a long way to go. I was hoping I might be able to outbreak the rider in front into there, but it was not close enough. We'll throttle up now. Headed to the quarry bends. Apex there, turned in a bit early. Over another rise, oh, the rear end gets off the ground. So now come up to the quarry bends themselves. Watch for the White House, that's the entrance. There it is. Just easy off the throttle. Get it down one gear into fifth, stand up. Get it down another gear into fourth, gently through Nen. To the left, to the right, to the left, tuck back in. It's a bit late on the last one there, but now I want to get it flat out for the Sulby straight. Losing a bit of time to the rider in front. 
through a kink there, but now solely straight past the church, the spectators. It's one of the fastest parts of the course. It's a tunnel of trees. It makes you feel like you're going light speed. So we'll come out, fast kink to the right, watch for the flagpole on the right as well, and then hard on the brakes, all the way down to first gear for the Selby Bridge. Should be careful for the curbing on the inside and the wheelie on the exit, it's easy to do. All right, second gear, come up to one of my least favorite parts of the course, so technical through here. Second gear, just tow it in nice and easy. So we'll come down the hill here. Third gear, at the bottom of the hill, watch the curbing on the inside and the fences on the outside. Over some of the bumps now, flat for a little while. It's a very fast section for how narrow it is through here and bumpy. Up to sixth gear. Looks like a hedge, a wall in front of us, but you can still go flat to the right, to the left. Now we'll get a double left-hander. We're gonna start slowing down for him. Right here. Lift out of the throttle, get it down a gear. Back on the throttle for a minute. All right, all the way down to third gear. And hard on the throttle again. All right, we're headed towards Ramsey now. That whole complex is so tricky. It's still a lot of difficult ones coming up here. So we've got a lot of curbing to the left there. K tree to the left as well. Get the line a little wrong. I can see two riders in front catching both of them. Bit of a lift. Peek out from the slipstream right up to the curbing there. That was too close. It's on exit. Oh, we'll hit it. You don't get away with that every day. Jumping over some of the curbing. All right, but hold on to it. We'll come up to the schoolhouse corner then. Fifth gear. Want to be able to do that faster. It's just so hard. Luckily, we got the bus stop to the right there. But now breaking into Parliament Square. All the way down to first gear. Just gentle on the acceleration coming out. Ramsey, come up the hill. It's an easy one to have a lazy runoff on. There's a lot of lateral load in the tire. Left-hander here, too. Oh, I really lean the bike there. It's too much. All right. Coming up to the hairpin. Get another rider in front. I'm sure one behind me, not too far off. Down to first gear for the hairpin itself. Feels like you're crawling along after such high-speed sections. But now climb the hill and up to the waterworks. Probably gonna need to wait behind the rider in front. Ooh, as the bike gets all light there through waterworks one and two. Thought we might be able to sneak up the inside as we'll head up towards Gooseneck. Get the line all weird there. Come on. Costing a lot of time through this section. Come on to the gooseneck though, another hairpin. It'll bring us onto the mountain. So we've completed the lower section of the course and now we'll truly go over the mountain and head back to Douglas. There's a lot of fast corners ahead. A lot of tricky stuff too, but high speeds. Come through this left-hander, catch the rider in front, make a pass, just get around him. Right-hander there. It's a bit hot coming in. All right. Just focus forward. Need to put a little bit of a gap between me and the rider behind. Got a long left-hander here. Coming to Guthrie's. This is a really tricky corner. Down three gears. Ooh, I just have to wait on it. I was sliding the front end of the bike. Maybe tire already starting to get worn out. Put a lot of pressure on it in corners. All right, final flick to the right here before we get onto the mountain mile to the wall on the inside, just don't knock your head. All right, flat onto the mountain mile. This is a really high speed section across the top of the mountain. I saw one other rider up the road as well. Making good time, but it's so tricky getting caught up behind other riders and keeping it smooth. Flat sixth gear though. Working to the right, we got a couple tighter right-handers. You can still keep it mostly flat through. Here's the first one. There we go. Second one here, just roll out of the throttle a little bit. I don't know how much grip I have. Now, triple left-hander. First of the hot corners. Really proud.
trapper coming over the mountain now. So we'll snake our way through. Flat right-hander here into a narrower one. So just roll off ever so slightly. Back on the throttle, down to Black Hut. It's a fifth gear. Left-hander at the bottom of the hill. Big wall on the outside, too. Now into the veranda. Difficult corner to get the line right. It's a triple right-hander. I was okay through it. You never do a perfect lap around the Isle of Man. It's always a series of just putting the bike where you can, when you can. Oh my God, just staying on it. So come up to the bungalow. Nearly, nearly ended the run then. Come down to third gear for the bungalow. It's where the train tracks can take you up here from Douglas itself. All right, flat out then. We're through the first half of the mountain, now we just have the second half. I'm getting too much on the rider in front, but I don't hear anybody behind me either, so I'll try to make as much time as I can as we'll come to the exit. First of what I think of as four different left-handers. Really hot there. Very much playing with fire at this point. Go to the second one then. This is a triple left-hander. There we go. Didn't quite get the turn in right there, but carried a lot of speed on the exit. We'll come up to Windy Corner. Should be an easy corner, it's always more difficult than I think it should be. Keep it in fourth gear this time, just nicely through. Squeeze the throttle. All right, a couple more. Off the throttle, down a couple gears to the left. It's a faster one, could have carried a little more speed there. Try to remember it for future laps, right to the center line. We come to the final left-hander of the mountain and we'll plunge down, but hard on the brakes. Second gear corner. Past Kate's Cottage here to the right and head towards Kregniba. Not insignificant bend, that one. All right, flat then. Over that rise, look for the signs on the left. Just before the 30 mile per hour board, down all the way to second gear. Don't get distracted by the crowd or anything else. Hard on the throttle. Didn't carry as much speed as I wanted to through there, but still rush down the hill. You reach a high speed here. We're headed now firmly back towards Douglas. Flat right here. We'll bring us into a almost flat left. It's really daring corner. How fast do you want to go? Ride the rev limiter in fifth gear. Pick up the throttle, tuck back in, make up a little bit of speed here towards the bottom of the hill. A lot of bumps here, you have to be careful. Get it down to fifth gears, we'll rock it up the hill then. All right, just a few left-handers before we get to the real tight and twisty stuff at the end of the lap. Really leaning the bike over now. Hard on the brakes, down to second gear. Almost feels like you're walking the bike at this point compared to how fast we were going before. Third gear, long left-hander, just be nice and gentle with it. Tuck it back in. An even tighter right-hander here. You can hear a bike behind me. Scared to turn in there a little bit. Just shoot on the short road now, up to Governor's Bend. Final couple of corners of the track in the nook. Such a tricky one. So easy to fall the bike over, just lean it too much. Try to carry a little bit of speed wherever you can. Up to second gear, just easy on the throttle over some of the bumps. Exit the final corner and head to the line. It's gonna be a good lap, it's gonna be well under 19 minutes. We'll come to the line though. Not the perfect lap, it never is, but there it is. 1832 flat, it's my best lap I've ever done. Believe it or not, and it's good that it's the one on the video, there's a rider on pass. I'll calculate the miles per hour in a second, but my God, how fun is that? It's so much fun racing around this course in this sim. Oh, I hit a little curb there. Just reflecting on it for a second. It's a different experience than a lot of other 
with sim racing. It might be because it's so new and different racing a bike rather than a car, but it just feels like you're always on the very edge. And when you get it right, when you complete a lap like that, you just think back to all the close calls and that you made it through. And uh, man, it feels good. I cannot recommend this enough. If you have any interest at all in the Isle of Man or bikes, this is hard as nails, but it's so worth it. And uh, I think I'm gonna be spending quite a lot more time in here. But thanks for watching. This is GP Laps. I'll see you all again next time.